Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video I'm gonna show you how to replace coil in standard 50cc pocket bike engine. Uh, this, is, this is gonna be step by step what you need to do to replace the coil, how to do it properly. So let's start it first. We need to re remove these three bolts which holds the pull start to the engine. Remove them with the Allen key. There is one, two at the bottom. One here on the top. Now we can pull out the pull start. Here is the pull start. We can put that away. Now we can see here is the coil. Just here. And it happens sometimes that the coil is faulty you won't have a spark so uh, you can order this coil from the website the link is in the video and just replace it so to replace the coil we need to disconnect this black wire the tiny black wire here just disconnect it and remove the wire from the coil from the spark plug Now with the same Allen key, just remove these two bolts which holds the coil to the engine frame. This wire here is a ground wire, uh, it doesn't have to be exactly in this place, you can for example place it here uh, and it will work the same way. So for easy uh, job I would say move that, don't place it here, just place it here where the pull start and uh, it will work the same. So now when we have removed the bolts you can pull out the coil and here is the coil. As I said, you may find the coil faulty, so you just you can just replace it. It's only a few dollars. So we have removed the coil, and uh, I will show you how to properly install new coil. So when you receive the new coil, uh, you place it in the same position, but you need to be sure to leave the proper space between the between the coil and the flywheel not too close not too far so my advice is you will see on the flywheel there are magnets here so the coil actually stick into that magnets in this position yeah so you can move the coil away take a black tape the black tape like that on the to cover the magnets we will do it two layers of that black tape and we will cover the magnets when you cover the magnets turn the magnets this direction where the coil comes, they just simply 
place the coil the coil will stick to the magnets and now just install and tie the boards uh, before you install the boards I do highly recommend that you use the uh, use one of them it's a thread locker so this ports here because of the high shaking vibration of the engine they like to loosen themselves they don't come with the spacers so it's good idea that you place the uh, thread lock on the thread before you install them now place first in and the second because we put the tape you don't have to be worried about the proper space right now just when the coils stick to the flywheel just tighten in Tighten in the second bolt. Make sure that the coil sticks to the flywheel. Now tighten in well both bolts, but be careful. This is aluminium, so don't over tight. second screw <coughs> now when we tie that up you simply twist the flywheel and remove the tape and that tape actually give you the proper space between the coil and the flywheel as you can see when you turn it around it is not touching flywheel in any place and it is also very close the flywheel so using the tape like that this is the best method to actually install the coil and you can be sure that the space uh, between the coil and the flywheel is correct so when you when you have installed the new coil make sure to place the wire on the spark plug connect the black wire with the red wire or depends what 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 wire is on your wiring just connect it again now we didn't install as i said before we didn't install this wire back to the coil we will install this wire just here where is the uh, board holding the mounting the easy pull start so put the wire on the bolt here make sure when you have easy pull start you will see it's not fitting properly usually you need to pull a little bit and then it will come to the place so when we have installed the pull start here you can screw in the first bolt secure the wires with the zip ties just connect them to the back to the body and you are done as you can see replacing the coil is very easy if you are afraid of the making proper space between uh, coil and the flywheel you can use that method with the tape make sure to put 
two layers of the tape and it works great i hope this video helps uh, if you like my channel you like my videos please subscribe thanks a million see ya